guys. It is 5 o'clock in the evening, Sunday, January 21st. Um, we haven't done a whole hell of a lot today. <laughs> um, we did go to Costco this morning, a big box um, wholesale discount place. Anyway, for those of you not in the U.S. And Saturday is never a great day to go because everybody goes on Saturday. But you guys... It was like trying to shop during the vid again, especially at the very beginning of it where people were clearing the shelves. It was insane. Insane. Anyway, we did that and then I think we were like not up for doing anything else. We just stayed home. I've been working on my Red Heart Granny Squares as you just saw in the clip. Um, getting ready for the week ahead because there's lots going on and yeah. I've got this stack of magazines, Hold stack on. of magazines that I need to go through. That's my goal this week is to go through all of those, pull out any articles I find interesting or want to save, or better yet, scan them or take a picture of them and then make the pile go away because that's crazy. It needs to go away. In the meantime, we're making some tea and just sitting and relaxing because why not? We can, so we are. I'll be back. Hey guys. All right. It is Monday morning. It's 744 AM. I have been up and awake since about 415 this morning. Um, not for any emergency reason, but Bob is having a medical procedure this morning. Nothing scary, but necessary. And, um, I'm his ride to the hospital and back. So we're doing that. Fun fact, medical things are one of my anxiety triggers. And did I remember to bring a ball of yarn and a crochet hook? No. And I've been at the hospital a couple hours already. So there's that. I'm gonna go home, have some more coffee, do a couple chores and wait for the text message for me to come get him at, or and or that he's in recovery. So it's gonna be a long day. I'll be back. I got a text that Bob's procedure's finishing up and this time I've got a cup of coffee and a yarn ball. <laughs> so I'm going to run at least one real quick errand on the way back to the hospital and then wait until he's ready to go home. I'll be back. Okay, so uh, Bob's physician called and I can take my time. I'm going back over there, but um, in Dollar Tree, the Coca-Cola delivery person um, was... I'm not sure if he was talking to nobody because there's nobody around him or if he was talking into his phone. Um, but let's, let's just say it was a whole, a whole bunch of inappropriate language. Not, I'm not that I'm offended because uh, hello, I have a foul mouth, but when you're on the job and in public, not really appropriate. I was calling somebody an F and B. And then I get out of the car, I get out of the store after finding a cashier because there was nobody at the cash registers. Um, and off to my left, there's somebody over here being pulled over on what I'm assuming is a traffic stop and being handed a piece of paper. And she's um, decided it's a good time to be on her telephone. <sighs> anyway, in case you need a reminder, one of my new cups, I love it. All right, let's go stop at Michael's, see what they have. I don't really need anything, but well, I shouldn't say that. I want, I don't need anything. I want some stuff, but I did make that order at Yarn Inspirations and what else they do have, don't have at my local Joann's. They don't, I don't think they carry it at Michael's and which is more the granny square yarn. Um, and I don't want to drive to Beaverton, but Michael's is on the way to the hospital. So we'll go there. First coffee. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Tuesday. The 22nd, 23rd, I don't even know, hold on. 23rd, um, <laughs> it's just after lunch. I haven't eaten yet though, so I need to make lunch. New, t new shirt from Amazon, I love the logo. Um, Mr. is doing, um, he's doing actually pretty well from his procedure yesterday, um, which we will keep private, but it was nothing serious. Um, He's recovering very well. We're probably not gonna have the grandson this week because there's some nursing care I need to um, help him with. 
um, while he's healing and it's best done without anybody around and uh, yeah otherwise we're doing good it, it's been stressful and I can tell because I've been wanting to sit and just crochet number one I mean I do love it but I do use it for my mental health I can't remember basic things like did I water the plants on Saturday I have no idea I think I did so me kind of forgetting stuff when I have anxiety that anxiety ramps up that's yeah, that's pretty normal. So I'm just taking it one step at a time, taking deep breaths, making notes if I need it and all that stuff. So anyway, being creative where I can. I'll put a picture here. I decided to block all the granny squares I had done up till now uh, last night while Mr. was taking a nap. And um, I find blocking helps my crochet and knitting when I do knit. Um, because things t can be curly and I know you don't have to block your crochet um, it's usually not a huge issue um, but when I'm doing things like granny squares I just find it help it's helpful and when I go to sew them together it's just a little easier for me if they're nice and flat and all the same size and all that stuff so I sat and blocked them all had barely enough blocking boards and pins <laughs> to, to, to do it with um, so yeah, that was a thing, but anyway, we got it done. I'm gonna make some lunch now and sit and relax, and I wanna look up some videos on how to um, store the few pairs of knitting needles I do have and have kept because I am thinking about um, picking it up a little bit, not a ton, because uh, it does tend to hurt my hands and I'll probably have to wear my braces, but um, there are a couple of things I would like to make that are easier, well, not easier, that are would look no I think they would look nice if they were knitted. So we'll see we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Good morning everybody. It's 9:44 a.m. on Wednesday, January 24th, I think. Uh, Mr. is doing well. He has orders to stay in the sofa for a few minutes while I run some um, food to a neighbor. Um, I have some baby food that um, grandson's no longer eating and doesn't really care for and I have a neighbor not far away about a mile away who has a one-year-old that can use it and so on but she doesn't have a car working car at the moment so I'm gonna go run it to her and then head home and continuing to take care of mister I also have an idea for a video that I'm gonna film so um, I do think we may pick up doing more needlework videos. Um, you all seem to really like them. I do enjoy journaling, but I journal for my mental health and therapy. Um, I will be doing that on the YouTube channel going forward. Um, but I think we're gonna stick to those two avenues at the moment. So yeah, what do y'all think about that? Anyway, and is there anything in particular you'd like to see? All right. Let's get over there and drop the food off and get back and I will get back with you in a bit. My food drop off done. I left it on the porch and um, yeah, but the peak, little peek in the window um, <clears throat> below where the blinds were closed. It looks like they're in a tough spot. So glad to help even if just a teeny tiny bit. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, uh, on our way back, and Mr. needs help with a couple of medical things this morning, so we'll take care of that. And then hopefully we'll get some time in to film the video, do some crocheting. I am still putting off end of 2023 YouTube paperwork because yeah, it's not ever my favorite thing. I'm usually done by now, to be fair. Um, but this week is hectic and there's just been a lot going on so I can't focus enough my logical side of my brain and yes I do have one um, <laughs> uh, to sit and do that so anyway we'll get it done at some point before we have to file taxes <laughs> all right that's it for the minute I'll be back okay hey guys mister is feeling better and I'm headed out to run another errand. I don't have to do it today, but he's like, go, go do it. 
Um, he's a little bit wobbly, but he's promised he'll be careful, much less wobbly than he was this morning. Uh, anyway, he's on some medication, so that's what makes him wobbly and it's starting to wear off, so. Um, so we're gonna head over to the Hillsboro Joanne's. It's about 10 miles from my house, not too far. And pick up some more granny square yarn in the one color. Um, I actually I'm gonna get a couple balls of the white and at least one ball of the green. And if they have two more balls of the green, I'm gonna get go grab those before I even go to the counter. Um, Cause like the green, I can't order anywhere. Like everybody's out of stock. It must be the most favorite color or I don't know what else to think. And I have an idea for a couple of sweaters that I want to make and I even did a rectangle granny square not square, re granny rectangle um, with some of the yarn and I'm going to use that for the sides of the front of the sweater for the sides of the neck and um, I think it's going to be really cute so I can't wait to get it finished but I kind of really just in case want to have a little more yarn because this is a pattern that's up here and I haven't like ever done it before and although I did order some yarn from Yarn Inspirations in a few different colors um, that box is gonna take a while to get here so um, yeah in the meantime and I kind of just want it for stock this is a good therapy yarn for me uh, and travel yarn because I can just grab a hook and grab a ball and go um, and I love that idea so anyway Long story short, we're going to the Hillsboro, Oregon, Joann's store. So, and it looks like GPS is taking me the back way. So, yeah. I better get off of here so I know where I'm going. I'll be back. I got the yarn. They, I pre-ordered one ball and they had two more in stock. I bought them all. I don't normally clean a shelf like that, but this particular color, which is I think the cyber green, if I'm wrong, I'll put it here, um, is, I don't know, it's a popular color, I guess? Um, but I'm experimenting with a granny square sweater I want to make that's based on a video which I will link be up below but at least that that video inspired me for this sweater um, number one the girl in the video is way younger than me probably young enough to be my daughter at least, if not my granddaughter um, number two, I have a fat old lady flabby neck. Approaching a level crossing. And I don't really do crew necks because it just emphasizes that. And number two, I'm old and not fit and firm and I'm not comfortable having a crop top on. So I'm going to make it longer. I'm going to do something different with, with the neckline than what she's doing, um, which I will explain in a future video and um, do the collar differently. And anyway, so I need more yarn, more of this yarn because I have no idea how much I'm going to need because I've not done this before. So now I've got plenty. All right, that's it for the minute. Let's head home and see how Mr. is doing. Hopefully he hasn't done anything I told him not to. I'll be back. Okay, Bob is feeling much better. So yay. Um, he's actually upstairs on the floor with an old friend right now who got laid off from where they used to work together. And uh, he's looking for a new job, so Bob's helping him out. And I got all my current unblocked granny squares. They're blocking upstairs. Some of the ones I'd done be in the batch before were still slightly damp, um, but I've laid them down flat below. They should be, should be fine. Um, and these sort of rectangular blocks, they're not exactly half, but I think that's okay. I think that's gonna actually work really well. I'm gonna do up some diagrams and probably do a video on this if my idea works out because I wanna make two of them. So stay tuned. I'll be hey back. guys, all right. Junior went home a while ago and I've been upstairs crocheting and watching YouTube and doing some uh, very rough schematics I want to turn some of these, well, all these red heart granny squares into a sweater, but I needed to figure out some math, <laughs> the way at least artists and crafters math. <laughs> um, so I have created the traditional square, but I've also done a rectangle, which is slightly narrower um, by like an inch. And really an inch is what it's all about. 
Um, the inch on each piece makes a big difference. Anyway, um, so I think I have the math figured out and the schematic figured out. So now I know how many of the little rectangles I need to do. I need to do some more of those. Um, I am going to do some, sorry, deliveries. I'm gonna do some uh, filming for it on the white sweater. I'm gonna do the black one first and figure out what I'm doing. Um, I will put some of it up here on YouTube, but the details will be for Patreon. So if you want the details, please think about joining my Patreon and supporting the content here on YouTube. It's only a couple dollars a month and I do things like this. I've also recently shut down my Etsy shop. I haven't even told them yet. And the digital downloads that were in the shop um, that they haven't already received, they will be receiving. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna put a couple more pins in some of those and put this late Christmas card away and then go downstairs and wait for husband to get off work. Um, he's feeling better today. He's not 100%, but he just comes up here into his office and sits at his desk like what he says. He doesn't do anything strenuous, so um, so it's all good. Anyway, it's going to be a little while before he's feeling 100%. So, All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. And I know I look like hell. And I've got to change your clothes because, you know, baby sitting and spit up and it's a thing. So I'll be back. Do this while there's some light. Um, I told you earlier, Mr. was feeling better. He's not 100%, but he's better. Um, so we're out for a little bit of walk. Um, as he just said, there's no more snow or ice. It's all melted. Um, it's also not super cold. Yeah, it's about 50. About 50, 51, something like that. There is a lot of water, if you can hear that in the background. That's the creek by our house. Um, it's been raining a lot. Anyway, we're gonna go for a short walk, how much ever he's up to it. Yep. And then we'll go home and have dinner. So that's it. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Friday, January 26th. I have no idea if I vlogged yesterday at the moment, but I think I did. Um, we did babysit yesterday and that went well. Mr. is still recovering. He's not 100%, um, but he's doing better. Um, when he doesn't want to drive his truck, then you know he's not quite there yet. Anyway, I spent the day doing some purging and cleaning. I purged the closet of storage container bins, reorganizing bins and got rid of things I've been hanging on to that I don't need to hang on to. And so there's now a pile downstairs. I also went through my art bet art bags. I have way too many of them still, but I kept what I love. I kept what's versatile that I can sort of interchange when the mood strikes. So that's all good. I also unpacked my travel art bag. I don't need to have a travel art bag packed 99% of the time. Um, so that's unpacked. Um, the only thing I will leave packed is the, um, minimal art bag that I have with my DIY coloring book in it, because that's not only good for traveling, but if we're on a road trip and, um, I'm not up to, I'm not feeling crocheting, I can bring that with me along with one ball of yarn and a crochet hook and have plenty of alternatives to work on things. So anyway, sorry for the shaky camera. Um, so I just finished getting everything cleaned up and sort of put away. Uh, we're still working on my new painting desk, uh, my vintage secretary desk downstairs. It'll be a while before that's ready, um, to go in the corner. But when that does go in the corner, I can see me purging more stuff. So there's that. I am going to be posting probably most of it on the local Buy Nothing group. Um before I donate anything to Goodwill, yeah, or Value Village or whatever. Um, so yeah, I do think that's a thing. So buy nothing first, because I'd rather give it away to a local artist or person who could use it. So anyway, I'm gonna watch some YouTube, drink my water, which I haven't been great at doing the last couple of days, which is funny because I'm constantly reminding my dad and Bob, drink your water, it's, you know, it's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Guys, it is just about four o'clock on January 27th. And 
Mr. is feeling nearly 100%, so yay. We were able to go out grocery shopping and run a couple of other errands this morning. While we did that, we stopped at the um, post office and I checked the uh, P.O. box. Um, and I picked up some um, free boxes um, from there and I used them to create some sort of bins on my bookshelf that's behind my work table that I've been sort of just dumping stuff on for kind of a long time. It was initially supposed to be a drying rack. It hasn't been used for that for a long time. And now it holds some of the yarn I have that's intended for projects going forward and the scrap balls, um, which is a much better place for it than where it was by the scrap balls were by the sewing machine. That didn't make any sense. So hold so on. I made these sort of cardboard bins I used, the bins didn't cost me anything. Uh, I had contact paper and packing tape and I just put them together that way. Are they perfect? Not by any stretch of anybody's imagination. In fact, I got tired of trying to have the contact paper not be wrinkly and there's wrinkles, but it doesn't matter. Um, it does what I need it to do, which is um, sort the yarn so I can see it. So when I'm ready for the next project or I need another ball for a, the blanket I'm currently working on, like maybe that brown one, I, it's right there. I can just grab it. This is project yarn intended um, for use. And um, this makes me happy. This is much, much better. I like that. I have specialty yarns behind me and some of those bins and up there, which also at some point will be um, used in projects. And I don't need yarn going forward unless something wild and crazy happens or... Yeah, I have a couple orders that are coming in and that's going to be it for a while. So anyway, um, I think we're going to go out for a walk in a little bit. We're under a flood warning, which is weird, but okay. Um, it's been raining for a few days. Um, not super hard, but yeah, I don't know. I guess the streams between the rain and the snow are, they've had enough. <laughs> that would be my guess. Anyway, we're going to go for a little bit of a walk before we have dinner. And I'm going to start on a blanket. The granny squares are blocking for um, the one of the sweaters I'm going to be working on. The I'm making one out of the cyber green red heart granny square yarn. And that one I'm going to go ahead and make. And then the other one is the, what color is this? Of course, I don't have my glasses on. Because, you know, um, frigid. Um, that one, I'm going to show you how I make the little granny rectangles to make the sweater. Um, I'll show you that on camera and assembly and stuff. But I want to do the black one first and work all the bugs out. Because, you know. Anyway, I think that's it for the minute. We're going to go see what we can see. And I'll be back. We're, okay, we're finally headed out for our walk. Um... I don't think I mentioned yet, we're under a flood warning. So if I see anything interesting, I'll take a picture. Yeah, let's go down to the river and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's not raining at the moment, but you know, I might be hot because I've got my blanket coat on and it's 59 degrees outside. You're gonna be hot, believe me. You're gonna be complaining in about 10 minutes. Yeah, he's not wrong, but I don't want to get soaking wet. So anyway, all right, let's go get some steps in. I'll be back. It's just supposed to be a little creek. It's not supposed to have giant waterfalls. In 10,000 years it'll be the Grand Canyon. Probably. A little bit flooded. It's not normally this much water over here in this field, even in the rainy season. We're headed down to the Tualatin River, which is I guess one of the areas of concern. Let's go take a I look. I don't think I've ever seen it this high since we've moved here. Um, yeah, I guess that's a problem. Wow. Yeah, this is covered up. Holy heck, man. Holy moly. Yeah. That's pretty, That's high. pretty high. I guess we really are on a flood watch. Yep. Pretty cool. Uh, okay. Still no ducks. But last time we were here, it was frozen. 
and the drainage creek is usually empty and while it's kind of empty down there the water is headed that way because there's a lot of water over there yeah oh yeah there's another drainage thing over here which doesn't usually do that wow hey you guys i just got back from a walk and one of my packages i wasn't expecting until next week came in this is from lion brand and they had some sort of like mystery bag thing you could only get one and you don't know what's in here. Ooh, pretty. Okay, and it was $12.99, I think, for a bag plus shipping. Um, so the first thing I'm grabbing is Touch of Alpaca. And it's 44 yards, 90% acrylic, 10% alpaca, and this pretty dark blue. And this one is Ice Cream Roving Divigation. Hmm, it's a funny name. It's all acrylic, but super soft. I love the color. Schitt's Creek yarn. Schitt's Creek yarn? Yep, it's a pretty sandy color. These actually would go nicely together. There's a cake, it's a mandala cake sequin, so it has little sequins in it. There you go. Um, 295 yards, 90. 8% acrylic, 2% polyester, which is probably the sequins. And I'm sorry, I didn't say on this one. It is 372 yards and 100% acrylic. There's another mandala uh, sequin one, different colorway. Nice. There's this thing. This is huge. Ice cream big scoop. Look at those colors. And then there's more in here. Cups of alpaca. There's a journal in here. And let's see. That's cute, so it'll be good. Um, I do make notes on patterns and things that I write, so that's cute. I like the fact that it's got holes on the cover. And there's a little pack of uh, embroidery floss. So, cool. Not a bad purchase if I do say so myself. So, I have one more box coming in and then no more yarn for a while until I get some projects finished. Yeah, no more yarn. Unless Mr. sees some yarn he wants a sweater out of. <clears throat> but yeah. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, we've been just watching Netflix and stuff um, after our walk and dinner. Um, the walk was interesting. I did get a few shots that you saw. Things were sort of flooded. Um, and we're expecting a bit of rain in the next few days. So I guess the flood warning is justified. It's just weird. Um, there were even a few backyards that were a little bit, uh, watery. Swampy. Swampy, yeah. So anyway, it's been all good. Um, I started a new blanket. And this is some Red Heart yarn along with, I was gifted a bunch of this. I think I talked about once already. Um... It's a lion brand yarn. It's like blue clay, I think, or something in a bunch of different colors. So I am crocheting it together with the worsted weight in brown. Will be all through the blanket and then the blue clay will be in different colors paired up. And so we'll do a nice kind of thick, chunky blanket out of that. And, and yeah, otherwise it's been a good day. Um, Son-in-law and grandson and grand dog are coming over tomorrow to watch football with mister. Um, so I guess it's a good thing we went grocery shopping. Because, yeah. Anyway. That's it for this week. It's been a good one. Um, it's good to get things now back to normal, hopefully, after COVID and the holidays and 
all the things that have happened since then. It'll be good to just get back to a normal schedule. But anyway, I hope you all have had a great week that you've been able to find some time to be creative, even if it's five minutes here and there. Sometimes it's all you get, so you gotta take the time when you can and um, just enjoy life. Um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Uh, if you would like to support the free content here on YouTube, I do have a Patreon. The link is down below. I um, have a, a ready conversation with them in Facebook Messenger. Also, there's a new thing like that in Patreon. I do posts all the time for them. And my Etsy shop at the moment is um, closed. And the digitals that were over there are being given to the patrons and supporters. So if you want some of that, go join that. Um, I also have rubber stamp designs at um, Rubber Moon and Art Foamy stamps over at, designs over at Art Foamies. Um, there's a bunch of great designers at both places. Go check them out. Really great companies to work with. Um, even if you don't buy my stuff, go check them out um, and support them both. They're both mom and pops. Anyway, I think that's it for right now. Go out and have a good day. Have a good week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.